people welcome back to my channel I'm Paige this is Seeking Alexandria and guys today we're diving into this big old bag of makeup right here Florence by Mills by none other than Millie Bobby Brown now a couple of things I'm gonna mention right off the bat number one it is a rainstorm outside like we're talking full-on monsoon status so if you can hear like tick 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 ticks or any weird noise I apologize the only thing I want you to hear is my lovely melodious voice but I just don't have any control over the weather I mean I'm not like an x-man yet so we're still working on it but it's just not there number two this is a very different type of makeup for me to review. Normally I'm on like the regular foundations, medium coverage side of things. As you can tell, I have a lot of redness, acne, hyperpigmentation, that sort of thing. And what we are diving into today is very much so on the natural-esque side. So something to keep in mind as we're going through this, it's going to be a little bit of a different style of makeup, but I'm still going to give everything my full thoughts and opinion as we work through it. I did pick all of this up from the Ulta website, which is where the entire line is available. I want to read real quick from the FlorenceByMills.com website, which is where there's a lot of information. They also sell the products, but there's a lot of info on the uh, skincare and the beauty aspect of it and why it was created. And I wanted to dive into that just a little bit because Millie Bobby Brown, first of all, let me just, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Did I know who Millie Bobby Brown is? No. First of all, I guess she's like a, a person on Stranger Things. I've never seen the show. I know. I know. I've never seen it. Don't know anything about it. So I had to Google the brand because everybody was all like, oh my God, it's by Millie Bobby Brown. And I'm like, cool. Who is she? But then when I went ahead and I learned a little bit about her, I really got to feel the um, idea of this line and kind of where it came from. And there's a little bit off of the Florence by Mills website that I wanted to read to you guys that I think really encapsulates this line. So it starts off by talking about how Florence is created by Millie Bobby Brown, aka Mills, and how she sat in hundreds of makeup chairs and along the way, um, it's really shown her that beauty is really all about loving and expressing yourself. And that's why she names Florence by Mills after her great grandma, a woman who embraced herself and did things that made her happy all her life. First of all, literally brought tears in my eyes. I was like, oh my God, that's just the sweetest little thing. But moving on past that, they say Florence is about defining beauty on our own terms. No rules, no struggle towards perfection, no boring beauty standards, just us playing and how we want to look, feel, and live. I'm gonna go ahead and stop there off of their website. It does go on, obviously, to keep talking about the brand, but what I really love about that section of it is the idea of being empowered by who we are. I'm really excited to play around with it, even though I know it's gonna be something so, so different for me. I'm excited. I am going in real quick here and priming with just a smidge of my Tatcha Silk Canvas just so I can be fair to the face product. Obviously you don't have to prime if you have a glotion that you prefer or just like your skincare is your primer that's totally fine because this is going to be a very natural-esque makeup look so you don't need to go crazy. From here we're going to go ahead and dive first into the Like a Light Skin Tint. I grabbed this in the shade F020 and it looks like on the Ulta website this retails for $18. You get one full fluid ounce. It does look like it has 20 shades. The shade range for being 20 shades is a nice gradient. It's not the best range. Obviously, it could go deeper, um, and I'm curious to see. I grabbed the second lightest because the first one just looked a little bit too pasty for me. Now, down in the description here, just to highlight a couple of things, it says this is a non-greasy skin tint that gives you the glow you need, but is still sheer enough to let your natural beauty shine through. It has plant-based oils in it, like jojoba oil, to keep skin hydrated and bright, um, but also has nourishing moisturizers. You will feel smoother like a little dew drop. L-I-L, a little dew drop. <laughs> That's so cute. Then build up the coverage or keep it sheer. You choose. But seriously, look at how cute this packaging is. Ooh, and I actually think this shade might work okay for me. All right. Ooh, and it's a little squeezy too. Pump, not mad at that. Let's go ahead and give it a good, a good little mix in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this with my hands, I think. I just kind of do what I'm... Okay, this smell... Ooh. Oh my God, you know what the smell is? It smells like a swimming pool. Like, not like chlorine, but like the smell, the smell of the brick next to the swimming pool. That's kind of what that smells like. Okay. This does have a little bit of thickness to it. It's not um, super thin like a gel moisturizer feeling, but it's also not super thick like a face cream that's really, really thick and intense. It's somewhere right in the middle. Okay, yeah, definitely not wanting to stick through the nose, but that's all right. Um, the rest of it is actually, like I said, giving me a little bit more coverage than I thought it would. Um, it still is a nice, light, sheer amount of coverage. It applies really nicely onto the skin. It's looking a little bit um, heavy in certain areas, but I'm kind of thinking that's just the natural oil side of this waiting to kind of sink into my skin. Because typically with a product like this, once that happens, oh my God, I'm covered in cat hairs. <sighs> Anyways, as I was saying, typically with a product like this though, that's not um, uncommon because it does need to really settle into my skin, especially because I have so much texture, but I don't hate it. All right, so I went ahead and I moved you guys in just a little bit so you could see where we were at up close. I don't want there to be any misconception with this because on camera, 
camera I feel like it'll really be generous with the amount of coverage that I got so there's still a cat hair on my face hello but from here I do want to go ahead and drift over into the concealer this is their see you never concealer which I picked up in f005 this is the lightest of their 20 shade range oh wow that's nice and light I wanted something that was this bright though because I needed it to be nice and awake under the eye especially if I'm going in with very light coverage oh I really like this applicator it's very much so on the um like under eye treatment it helps with puffiness and whatnot I believe Tatcha actually has the same applicator on their eye cream and it's really really nice it feels amazing on your under eye and then I think I'm just gonna go ahead and tap this out here with my finger Oh, wow, this could be really pretty. Okay. Also, I probably should read you a little bit about this concealer. It is a $16 price tag. You get 0.27 ounces of product, again, available in 20 shades. And it says in the description that the Florence by Mills See You Never Concealer is a weightless, light coverage concealer that helps even out skin tone without settling into dry areas. Bye bye and bye to spots, dots, and sleepy eyes. With caffeine and cooling metal applicator, your skin will feel the love. So far, I don't think I have any issues with any of those claims. The only thing that I'm not loving about it is the texture when you first apply it is a little bit on like the greasy side it's very very fluid in that sense I like the fact that it matches the amount of coverage you get from the foundation so she didn't come out with something that's like really full coverage over here or medium coverage or whatever and then a skin tint like her entire line the cohesion I am just really appreciating now with this collection there was no powder release so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my hourglass powder right here this is the lightest finishing powder I did a full review on their ghost collection the entire collection which I will link up here it went up last week but I'm gonna take just a little bit of this powder and try to set the under eyes now I think for me, this is still going to crease like crazy because my under eyes are just so creasy. It has to be a very robust, intense matte finish and have a fair amount of coverage to it and not crease. And so I don't see that happening with this one, but I do want to give it a shot. So I'm just going to go in there and pack it with this. And I'm also just throwing a little bit right in this region and then a little bit onto my Hulk wrinkle as well here. Now from here, we're gonna dive into blush. I have two different shades. I have Real Ray and Zen Z. And these blushes retail for $14. It looks like they have five out of five stars right now with six reviews. And let's see what it says in the description here. It says that these dry down to a powder finish that doesn't slip or slide off the skin. The secret ingredient is kaolin clay, an oil absorber that helps the color stay put. And I've actually done a lot of research on that clay it is an amazing product um, some brands actually put it in like skincare and stuff it's fantastic oh my god you guys I love this packaging it's like a frosted plastic component I don't know why I just think that this is the entire collection for me is so aesthetically pleasing but this is so cute now this right here is the shade real ray oh wow that has oh that has so much more pigment than I thought it did okay I bet you anything though that it just blends out to be nice and sheer Oh, that's pretty. Okay, these I'm, I'm gonna love. I can already tell you. And then I also have the shade Zen Z right here. Ooh, very nice. This is very much so like everyday page right there. A nice like nudie cheek moment. And then this pop right here. Oh, those are so, so cute. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, I think, and go in with one on each cheek just so we can take a little look-see. And I'm just gonna go in first with Zen Z right here and apply it with my finger. Just kind of lightly pop it around in this region. Now, this is one of those skin tinty kind of moments where you don't need to go in with bronzer or anything like that. It's all about just making your skin look nice and healthy and glowy. Obviously, you could add like a a little bit of sculpting if you wanted to but for me I'm just kind of trying to play around with these products as much as possible and use them the way they're intended and I really like that it has like this really nice light kind of glow on the skin and it diffuses out really really pretty and on the other side we're going in with real ray oh that is a oh my gosh I love this I really like the tone of this oh my gosh that's so pretty it's much, much, much more impactful than the other side. Like if you're going for a full on neutral day, hello. If you're really going for like, I want a little something a little spicy, just look at how pretty that color is. And again, the way it shears out, you'd never know it started like that, which is really nice. And then I think I'm actually gonna take the brighter shade that I just applied and pop it over top of this side a little bit. A, just so both sides match, but B, because I think that tone actually shows up and gives me just a little bit more to my skin. Oh wow, and that foundation skin tint is really settling into the skin. It's looking so nice right now. Like giving it a couple minutes makes a huge difference, I think, because it looks so much nicer. I'm just taking a little bit of this blush as well and I'm running it like up onto my temples a little bit 
just to give me a little bit of color up here. From here, we're going to go ahead and dive into brows, and this is the only brow product I believe she came out with. It is the Tint and Tame Brow Gel, and it is $14. It currently has three and a half out of five stars. I think that's the lowest rated product I have tried so far. It was released in five shades. I have the shade Dark Brown, and it says that this gel sculpts brows into shape when they're acting like wild little things. A hint of color helps fill in patchy spots while the micro fine brow brush coats every single hair fluffy and free or sleek and smooth it's up to you now because my brows are very very sparse i do have to fill them in just a little bit and i think i'm going to do that actually with a brow powder real quick and i'm going to grab my urban decay double down brow and i'm going to grab the lighter of the two shades in here this is in the shade neutral nana and i'm going to grab my morphe js7 here and i'm just going to very very lightly give myself a little bit of brow all right and i didn't add a ton of product i just went through and fluffed them up a little bit and now we are ready for some brow gel. All right, so here we are with the brow gel. I like how small the applicator is. It's very much so like L'Oreal-esque, their brow stylist definer, um, or brow stylist, whatever, whatever their one from L'Oreal is. It has the same style applicator, and the color is pretty nice. Okay, let's go ahead and run that through our brows here. Wow, that has way more color than I thought it would. Holy cow. I didn't think I'd get even close to that much definition. This is definitely way more color pigmentation. It's a little bit wetter than I thought it would be but it's actually doing a really nice job fluffing up my brow hairs, and I don't have a ton of brows, y'all. Like, I have, I have next to nothing. Granted, this is the fuller of my two brows, but look at that. That's not bad at all. It is definitely getting a little bit on like the underside of my brow and a little bit up here just because it is such a thin formula. So it's something to keep in mind. And that is the difference. This one has the brow gel all on and in place and this one has no brow gel. You can definitely see a difference. I think this is gonna be one of those products that it really depends on what type of brow gel you like because this one is such a thin consistency and a thin formula. All right, so from here, we're gonna go ahead and spray the face down. This is the Zero Chill Face Mist. It is $10 and it has five out of five stars with seven reviews. It looks like people are really loving this. It is a botanical rose infused spray that restores good vibes when your skin has zero chill. It actually says on the package here as well, dance and shake before use. Close your eyes and spritz your face. Use any time because there are no limits. It said to dance. It said to dance. It said to dance. She told me to do it. All right, now let's go ahead here and give ourselves a good old spritz. Let's do a test spray first. Oh, that smells nice. Oh, that is nice. And it does have very much so like a nice light botanical kind of smell. Ooh. Okay, I like this. I like this a lot. Now, real quick, there wasn't anything as far as eyeshadow or mascara or anything like that, but I do want to take a little bit of the more neutral shade of the blush. I'm going to go ahead and just pop a little bit of that here on my lids just to give me a little something something. And then I'm gonna go ahead here, I'm gonna curl up my lashes and I'm going to apply some of my IT Cosmetics Lash Blowout Collab that they did with Dry Bar. I did a full review of that mascara. If you haven't seen it yet, I will go ahead and link it up above. All right, so that all done and applied, we can go ahead and move on to lips. I have the lip oil as well as a lip gloss in the shade Modern Mills. And the gloss it looks like is $12. It comes in five different shades. It has 0.14 ounces of product and currently sitting with five out of five stars with two reviews. Use. And down in the description here, it says that uh, the lip gloss is a comfy formula that delivers glossy goodness and sheer shades that make you smile. Shea butter cushions the lips while vitamin E nourishes. Super softening castor seed oil says no thanks to chapped lips. Let's get glossed without the sticky factor. All right. Oh, wow. This is a deep color. All right. Let's go ahead and swatch her. And it says it is sheer. Oh, not as sheer as I thought. Holy cow. That actually has some color to it. Okay. Um, oh my god, I literally just went to dunk mine in and the entire thing on the inside came out, like the part that scoops the product off. Like my con my container just broke. Oh my god, how do I fix this? Hello? I'm so freaking sad. Alright, well, I'm still gonna try and apply it. Okay, and I'm gonna apply it like that because I can't wipe the thing off. I'm just gonna do this a little bit. Mmm! Oh, wow. Okay. That is a nice color, and I like how it diffuses. Oh, I like that a lot, actually. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sad that this just broke. Okay. I'm going to actually apply, like, a little bit more to the mouth here. Now, it's not sticky at all, so they were right in saying that, but it's also not, like, the glossiest thing I've ever seen. This is very much so a nice natural amount of gloss. But let's go ahead and read a little bit about this guy. This is the lip oil, and it says that this is $14, and this is the only shade it comes in. You get 0.27 ounces. 
currently sitting with five out of five stars again with four reviews and it says that this is the glow yeah lip oil and it serves serious looks and hydration while adding a pop of shine for that glow yeah feeling all day long oh that's really pretty it has like a nice light pink kind of color to it i love lip oils so this is right up my alley a nice little angled situation here oh just glossy shiny goodness honey yeah okay we're just gonna go ahead and pop that over top here oh i like that a lot yeah uh-huh I would wear that alone if I was doing like a no makeup makeup day. I would wear that over top of something, a gloss, whatever. I love that consistency and it really does settle down. It doesn't have any stickiness, tackiness. It doesn't even have like a thick feeling to it. You literally can't tell it's there. Mm, that's so nice. All right, you guys, I went ahead and finished everything up. I zoomed out the camera. That way you guys can kind of see it from multiple angles. I am gonna go ahead and throw up the close-up right now for you guys so that way you can see how my skin actually looks up close with all of this applied now that everything has really sank into the skin. Because I think as far as the settling of it goes, I think it looks beautiful on my more textured areas, over my cheeks. I'm not having any issues there. Like all of the issue that I had at the beginning part of it when it was first applied is gone. I feel like everything looks nice and pressed in. Now, as far as my roundup and thoughts on the collection, I'm not going to do a wear test on this, and this is something that I thought about a lot, but when it comes to me and how I wear my makeup, first of all, I'm normal to oily, so I can tell you right now it's not really going to last on my skin, and not only that, this isn't the type of makeup that I would generally wear in the day-to-day -day life, especially like this. Like, if I was going to wear these products, I would wear them quite differently, and so I don't think it would be fair to wear test something and then beat it up because it's not how I would do it, and I know it wouldn't work for me. But that being said, I I think this is a great collection for a couple of different types of people. Number one, if you are someone that loves minimalistic makeup, you don't want to wear a ton, but you want something that's going to enhance what you already have, like the line is designed for, I think you will enjoy this because it does spot on exactly that. So number one, I think right from the jump, that is probably where I would start it off with. The second thing I want to say is that if you are a parent of a preteen or a teen, um, and they're maybe like, you know, 11, 12, 13, 14, right in there, and they're starting to want to play around with makeup and you don't feel comfortable letting them go full B. I think this would be a great collection for that type of a kid as well because this line really does do a great job at teaching not only in the message on its website and through all of its products but also the way everything is designed at teaching young children at a time in their lives where they're feeling like everyone is judging them and everyone's getting called names and you know your pepperoni face you're fat you have rosacea you have XYZ. This line does a beautiful job at saying look you're fine just the way you are if you want to enhance who you are that's totally fine but we don't need to cover it up and I think just the message behind that is a really powerful one, especially for, again, a young, like, preteen, teen kind of person. You guys, those are my thoughts overall on the collection. What do you guys think? Leave me all of your thoughts and opinions down below. Were you curious about the collection, the aesthetic value of it, Millie Bobby Brown? Like, what, what do you think? And also, are you a Stranger Things fan? Because, again, I've never seen it, and I'm curious to know how many of my people actually watch it. So leave me everything you think down below. And if you like IGTV and you're into those, like, little one, two, three, four, five minute videos, however long they are, of people, like, putting on their makeup or doing their nails or whatever, you should definitely check me out over on Instagram and Twitter. They're both linked down below, but mainly Instagram, you guys. I have been having so much fun on IGTV. I've posted like three or four videos just in the past week, and it is, it's a blast for me. So definitely check me out if that kind of thing interests you. And oh, hello, don't forget, subscribe, hello. <laughs> Of course, beauty guru here. Uh, subscribe and turn your post notifications to this here YouTube channel. I do upload five videos a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. And you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Girl, I'm going to take a little picture while I look so cute. Because I do, I look so cute today. Also, I picked up this little devil. This is the Invisibobble Traceless Bun Tool. I'm excited to play around with you. I don't know why it's in this bag of stuff, but okay. Are you supposed to prime before you put it on your face? No, not necessarily, but I'm going to anyways, and you can't stop me. Ah! Ah! Whoa! Plastic, get out of my frame, honey. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Lawrence by Mills. <coughs> <coughs> Why am I so weird?